Hi everyone and thank you for joining me for this Art for All session. Um, today what I'm going to be showing you is um, how to do a cardboard weaving. Um, I'm not going to be able to show you right to the end because it just take forever to do. Um, but I'm just going to start you off and then you can, you can carry on in your own time. So what you'll need, you'll need a piece of cardboard. I've got one a square, um, but if you're wanting to do a bookmark, um, or anything like that, weave your own bookmark. You just do half the half the size, and um, so pick whatever size card you want. Um, and you'll need some scissors and just a black pen just to get your marks on, and then different coloured string, yarn, um, ribbons, anything like that. So I made one earlier. Um, so this was my practice one, <laughs> um, but it, it's. You know it's come out quite well um so yeah that's the kind of thing we're going to you know you're going to make <laughs> if you won't um, follow this video so quite it, it's quite so once you get into it it's, it's quite you know therapeutic to do actually so what you'll need to do first and you may need a ruler as well um is about one centimeter in just draw a straight line down and, and across. So one centimetre in, you'll need to have lines going down and across, okay? It's easy just to hold it up and show you. All right. And then from there, I've just cut some little slits in the top. So I'll just use my scissors um, and then just, just up to the the line so the bottom the bottom end just cut some little slits about half a half a centimeter not big at all okay so you're going up to the you're going up to the line um on one end and then you'll turn it round and then you'll do some slits up to the other end okay and then you will need some string to start you off with so I will just cut some string okay so what you need to do just in the top left hand corner so just place it in one of the one of the slits that you've made like that so I've just placed it just down into one of the slits and then you should have um, a little bit extra at the back so what you need to do with that you just need to sellotape it down okay and then what we do you bring it down to the other end oh, I've just put, I forgot to put a little foot in that one So you bring it down to the opposite slit, okay, and then you just make a loop at the back, bring it around the next slit, like that, and then back up to the top. Now on the back we're not going round like that, if you can see what I mean. We're just going to loop it at the top of each slit. So, right there. Just hold it there. Bring it round. Then back down to the end. And then just bring it. I don't know if you can see that. I've just gone up to that slit there. Back up. So don't go all the way down like that. You just bring it back round like that. Okay. And then you do this for the whole of the, so I'm just going to rush this quickly. So if I hold it up there, you might get a... So, oh, nearly, nearly did it wrong then. <laughs> um, there we go, okay. 
So the front should look like that. So that's where you're going to do your weaving. And the back should look like that. You're not looping it all the way around, you're just going in between each of the, the slots, okay? And then you cut that bit off. Again, you'll just have the look something like that at the back and like that at the front. Okay, so I'm just going to show you how to do the the weaving. I'm sure I'm sure you've all done it before anyway. Um, like I say, I can't get all this done right now on the video. And it's trial and error as well. You'll probably find you need to um, go back and do something. But you, you know, always refer to this video. There's lots of things on the internet that shows you how to to do cardboard weaving. And this is just to inspire you really what you can do just out of a simple cardboard box and some string that you've got at home. So, I've got my string here. Now, if you've got a needle, one of those big, big needles, um, you can use those. I haven't got one just at the moment. So, I'm just going to use my, my, my hands, my fingers to do it. So, I'm just, with me using my finger, I'm just going to loop that end. Then you're just going in. It's a bit difficult doing it like this. You're going in. In one end okay then you go over the next string and then under the one after that over the next string under the one over that so you're going under over under over just a typical weaving okay I'm doing this um, this way around so it's a little bit more difficult for me but just gives you an idea okay so you've got your first your first weave there okay and then just pull it up like that okay and then you're going to go back back round over Over, under, over, under. So it's just that cycle of going over, under, over, under. Okay. Let's do this quick so then you can see. Like I said, this is a bit fiddly for me because I'm doing it... Um, with it upright but it just gives you an idea so it's very once you've got your weave it's just literally you go in one end over under over under okay so then you've got your second second weave You can see there you start to get your sort of weaving. I've not sellotaped mine to the back either, so it's a little bit loose. But you start to get your weaving, weaving pattern there. So then I'd go back again. Um, over, under, over, under. These little bits here, the straggly bits at the end, you just tie them off at the end, okay? And then if you want to change colour, you can just get a different colour and just start on, you know, start again, push it up to the, you know, that your block of colour and then just carry on with the weave. Then at the end, you tie off your little loose ends, you can darn them in. Um, and then you should end up with something that looks a little bit like that. It'd be a bit neater. This was very quick, what I did. Um, but to take it off, all you need to do is just tie it off at the end and then just pull it off the loops at the top like that. So you pull it pull it off, take the loops off at both ends. Okay? And then the same at the bottom, you take the loops off. And then you can 
um, just just tie them off. You can cut the cut the loops at the top of, of one end of your weave and just tie them off. So, like I say, there's lots on the internet that you can look at, but that's just a a very you know quick example and a, and a quick um, video for this because it just take too long to do. But hopefully you've got the gist um, of what, what you need to do. But they're really they're just nice to do just if you're sat watching television or something like that. Um, just to merrily away, just do a bit of weaving. Like I say, you could do half a size and do, do a bookmark. You can add ribbons in there. But it, it literally is once you've got your base, um, what I showed you at the beginning, you're just weaving in and out, in and out in and out and then back again in and out in and out in and out and then if you want to change colour you can just cut you know cut off your cut off your ends of your of your string like that so you'll end up with lots of different little loose ends but you can tie them off at the end. Um so I think that's it. If you know you can always email me at gemma.hildred at pendlesad.org.uk and if you fancy having a go at any of the, the videos that we, we put out, especially the creative um, videos, if you want instructions, further instructions, then just email me. I can always send you an email with instructions. The same with any of the videos that we do, mindfulness, um, tai chi, anything like that. Just get in touch with us, email us, and we can, we can um, help you where we can um, send you some instructions and things like that. So I hope you get on with that. I hope you manage to do a little bit of weaving um, sometime this week or wh whenever you can. And it's again, it's something that you can come back to. It's something that you can just keep, keep coming back to and having a little go at. Okay, well, thank you very much for joining me and we'll see you again very soon. Bye.